video I'm going to show you how to solve a pair of simultaneous equations when you've got the same coefficient for one of the unknowns but different signs in both equations so what do I mean by that you've got the same coefficient in front of y okay so it's 3y there and 3y there however the difference this time is you've got a plus in this equation and a minus in this equation the first thing I'm going to label the equation this is 1 and this is 2 and when you have different sides, you're going to add them both together. Okay, so what's going to happen now, if you add these two, you're going to get 9x, 3y plus minus 3y. So this is actually like the following. Okay, you've got positive 3 and you're adding minus 3. Well, if you've got a positive 3, we don't need to write the positive sign going to take that off so it's 3 plus minus 3 so that becomes 3 minus 3 which is 0 so that cancels itself out equals 32 plus 13 which is 45 so if 9x is 45 so 9x equals 45 we just divide by 9 on both sides and we get x equals 5 Okay, once we've got x equals 5, we can sub that in, so substitute that into equation 1. So sub x equals 5 into 1. So 4x plus 3y equals 32. That's going to be 4 times by 5 plus 3y equals 32. That's 20 plus 3y equals 32. If you subtract 20 from both sides, or minus 20, 3y equals uh, 12. And then if you want to work out y on its own, you're going to divide both sides by 3. And you get y equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So you've got an answer for x equals 5, y equals 4. The next thing to do is substitute both of these values into equation 2. So sub x equals 5 and y equals 4 into 2. Equation 2 is 5x minus 3y equals 13 so 5 times by 5 minus 3 times by 4 should equal 13 that's 25 minus 12 equals 13 that answer is 13 therefore it balances so your solutions are x equals 5 and y equals 4 for these two simultaneous equations so we'll just write that here x equals 5, y equals 4.